Hello everybody, the blonde here. Um, this is my first YouTube video in a long time, and my first video since I have stopped streaming on YouTube. But, um, today I'm going to show you a couple tips and tricks that I have learned from Dragon Adventures. And I'm also just going to be grinding some, but I'm going to get it out of the way, the tips and tricks for you guys first. Because I know a lot of you don't want to watch the, the whole video, because you just want the tips and tricks, which is fine. Oh, I turned around. That is fine. <laughs> okay, so you might be wondering, how do I have so many coins? Okay, so if you want to know why I have that many coins, it's called I've been grinding. There's a specific way I've been grinding. What I do is I... Okay, here, I'll show you guys this. Let me get to my dragon. Oh, it's ready to breed again. I'll breed that in a minute. Come on, get on the dragon. There we go. You want to go over to the portal when you get in the game. Go on the portal. Go to grasslands. And I will show you exactly how I grind. Okay, now, once you get on. What you want to do is you want to load your high. You want to load your most. Um, I'm trying to think. The dragon with the most HP, so it won't die while you're doing this. So I'm gonna use one of my hydras because that's one of my. This ones that have the most. The most. Uh, what's it called? The most health. So now I'm just gonna wait for it to load, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Now that you have loaded in your dragon with the most health, what you want to do is you want to find a place where mobs spawn. Which I know this might be a technique you've been taught before, but this is the easiest way I've found to get money. So you just want to land, and then you need to pull up an auto clicker. Once you have your auto clicker up, press the button to start it, and just leave it there for a while. And when you come back, you should have plenty of meat. But warning, warning, warning. Sometimes it will glitch. And your dragon will repeatedly lose health like mine is right now. That's when you need to stop grinding and get some revive crystals. If you don't have any already. So I'm just going to go up here and grab some if there's nobody up here. I also need to revive one of my other dragons that died during this. Doing this. So, uh, rest in peace that dragon. But... He's, he'll be okay once I revive him. So, I'm going to feed one revive crystal to that. Brings its health back up, which is good. Let me uh, revive my other dragon real fast. Okay. Now, you just want to head back. Okay, personally, my, I'm going to show you my favorite place I like to grind. Wait, is it behind me? Yes, it's over here. It is right here. If I remember correctly, two mobs spawn, or is it over here? Hold on. Go check something. It might be over here, but I think. I oh, know it's over here. There's some place where two mobs spawn. I don't think it's here. It's hard. To, this map confuses me. So give me one second, guys. I'll leave the thing on. And everything so you can see exactly where I go to find it but what you want to do is you just want to fly over there should be like a mountain that has like a slope going up and once you're there you should go towards the beginning of the slope and it should be right there I think this is right over here yeah someone else is here right now Hey, it's my sister. That's my sister. Okay, then. But any place really works. It's just the places that spawn with two mobs go a lot faster. So, like, do, 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 do. See? Okay. I see something up here. I don't know what it is. I think it's a human. I'm gonna go check, though. It's a dragon skull. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it's a dragon skull. Just see it, but but that's the best way to get coins. 
And see, I only I have 100 meat because I did a little bit earlier, but my dragon died really fast. So yeah, you once you have your meat, you want to go back to the lobby and sell it, and also sell the bones you get too, because they don't give as much money, but they do help because you get a lot of bones as well. Okay, so once you get back, you just want to go to your shop. You can also use your auto clicker for this because it helps. You click on the meat or the bones, whatever you want to sell. So hold over your button that you want to sell. Either click it, which might take a long time depending on how much you have, or start up your auto clicker and it'll do it for you. Personally, I usually do it like normally whenever I don't have that much. But I'm not going to do it for the sake of this video because uh, clicking is annoying. Once you're done with that, you want to go sell the bones as well. I have a lot of bones because I didn't sell the ones I had from earlier. I'll be right back when these are done selling. Okay, guys. But, um, okay. So, once you're done selling that, you should notice a decent little dent and a decent little amount of money you've gained. Usually when I get, when I grind for like a few hours, I come back, have the max amount of meat, and then I just sell that, and I get quite a bit of money, actually. I think I sold like 10,000 meat before, which is the max, and I got like 50,000? I don't know, let me check real fast. Yes, I got 50,000 coins for that. So you do that like, say five times. You come back and you'll have enough for a fantasy dragon. So like if that tells you anything, this method's pretty good, especially when you have an option to AFK grind. Okay, next, XP. It's kind of annoying for this method that I've, I'm using, but it's worth it because you can gain levels, but it's, it, you can also use your auto clicker for this one. But you're going to need a decent sized farm of food. <clears throat> I just used apples because I think they all, I think most of them give the same amount of XP. But I just have a big apple farm. This is why this is so big right now. <laughs> Not giant. I've seen worse. But um, what you want to do is you just want to collect them. And if you look at my XP bar down here, down here, you will see that um, I gain XP every time I collect them. And then, if you feed your dragon for, say, this one, some apples, you gain 20 XP every time you feed them an apple. So you have a bunch of apples, and you have a bunch of dragons that need food. Just spam the crap out of it, and you'll get tons of XP. This is how I actually got to level 25. It took a little bit still, but anything will take a little bit when you're trying to get levels. And look. I'm going to put quite a bit of XP there. I have a lot of dragons that need food, though. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to test them real fast. How much does a carrot give? Same amount. So, yeah, apple's your best bet there. So, I would say just make a big apple farm, collect them, and then feed them to your dragons, and you'll get a pretty decent amount of XP. So, yeah. But, uh, there's the tips and tricks on the way. I don't know who that is, but, um, okay. Okay, so now to the breeding part of the video. I'm going to be trying to get, uh, what's it called? I'm trying to get the one that you have to mix demon and angel to get. I have the wiki pulled up here in the background. Elements. Okay, so what I need to do is right now I have, what I'm trying to get is I'm trying to get, Dark. Dark requires lava and air. I have lava and air. I have too many lavas. And I have one air over here. I was waiting for this one to finish um, its cooldown. So I could breed it again. And I'm going to breed it with... I uh, don't remember. Who was I going to breed it with? I honestly don't remember. But I'm going to level up, feed up the sky real fast. He, he's not breedable yet. Who is breedable? You might be. Let me just do some carrots real fast. You are, and you are lava, so that's perfect. Right here. Breed. Let's see if we get a dark. I don't think it's gonna happen, because last time I just got another lava. But we'll see. 
So, okay, we're gonna breed these. Let's see what we get. We might get a really pretty dragon, we might get a really ugly dragon, we might get one that's not air, and one, or we could get one that's air, one that's lava, we could get one that's dark, we never know. Okay, I think this is the new one. Yep, and it's lava. It looks just like it's uh, dad, though. But I do not know if it's a uh, butterfly or hydra. I'm not sure 100%. I'll level these guys up off camera and I'll probably give this guy away. Most likely. It's like a giveaway on a stream or something. <clears throat> but, uh. Don't know really what else was to do here. I could try. To breed. Lava and something else. And see what I get. All my girls are lava, though. <clears throat> now let's breed. Okay, the mini ghost has one minute left. I kind of want to... I'm going to breed lemonade ghost with this guy. <clears throat> so I'm going to breed... Blueberry lime... Blueberry lime with... With Maroon Phantom. Okay. Took me forever to figure that out, but you know, I finally figured it out. Okay, and time to breed. Let's see what we get. <clears throat> It's a female, but it's lava. <laughs> How am I not surprised? It does have a mutation, though. But I can't tell. Okay, it's neon. Does not have transparency, though. Okay, I have too many dragons. This is my titan right here. So I need to level this one up. And it has a mutation, so... It's cool. I'm trying to aim to get a good dragon that has max mutations and a good element. But, like, that's going to be a pain to get. Um, not really much else I can do right now. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. If you did enjoy the tips and tricks and or the breeding, let me know down in the comments. I'd really appreciate that. And if you guys miss me on YouTube, let me know. Maybe I'll come back eventually. Or I'll start making more videos on here. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day or night. Bye-bye.